Hey everybody, I am Mark Sazaski at Revisto and today we're going to walk through some of the basics of getting started in Revisto. So if you haven't had your project already set up, please refer back to the initial setup video. But right now we are going to show you the steps after you receive the initial email being invited to a project. The first step is going to be clicking the Revisto icon and opening up our Revisto gallery. This is where all the projects that you've been invited to via email are going to be stored. Next I'm going to select the project I've been invited to and it is going to download locally from the cloud onto our computer. For me, this project's already been downloaded locally, so it's going to be very, very quick to open up. For you, it might take a couple seconds or a couple minutes, depending on the project size. The next step, once we are in the project, is we're going to want to specify our navigation mode by selecting Preferences and Navigation. So you can see I'm currently in our Navisworks Walk Mode. So it's going to be the same mouse functionality as Navisworks Walk Mode. If you guys are not technical in Navisworks or Revit, I would highly recommend our most popular navigation mode, which is our game engine mode. In this mode, we can use the W key to fly forward. We can use the S key to move backwards, the D key to move to the right, the A key to move to the left, the Q key to drop down in elevation, and the E key to elevate. So all of these mouse and keyboard functionality is based on being in what we call fly mode. So that is the airplane on the screen. If we click walk mode, this is going to turn gravity on. So what that means is that we have collisions on. We're going to be able to walk through doors, but we're not going to be able to walk through things such as walls. So in walk mode, we have gravity on and being able to use the same keyboard functionality we can just point our mouse to the direction we'd like to go. So I'm just holding down the W key. Again, if I want to use the S key to move backwards, the A key to move to the left, or the D key to move to the right. In this mode, our E key, as I'm clicking now, will not work because I'm in walk mode and we have gravity turned on. So that's going to be the, the first basics to getting into Revisto is obviously the navigation. So I'd highly recommend game mode if you aren't technical in Revit, Navisworks, or SketchUp. The next button here, and this is a really important one for getting set up, is going to be our viewpoints. So if we select our viewpoints here, we're going to see um, all of our original viewpoints that came in from the authoring software. In this case, it was Revit. So here's all of our Revit viewpoints. If you brought it in from SketchUp or Navisworks, it'd be Revit or it'd be SketchUp or Navisworks viewpoints. And then we can also see Revisto viewpoints. So Revisto viewpoints, we have none in this project currently. So we wanna make sure that we set up a starting viewpoint. So if we didn't like where we started, and in this case, it looks like we started way back here. So if we want to start up closer to the project, I would just zoom in to the area that I'd like to be in and the mode I would like to be in. So if I wanna start off in this project and be in the fly mode, I'm going to keep it in fly mode and I am going to simply select our viewpoints button, then click add. We'll type in home, click off of it, and then we're going to select this little home icon. By selecting this home icon, we've just made this our new home button. So when anybody is a different place in the project, whenever they click the home button here, it's going to take them back to that specific location. And then anybody else invited to the project is going to be taken back to this specific location when they open up the project. 